Today I'd like to explain to you an NLP pattern called Swish Pattern. Swish Pattern is quite an old NLP pattern now. Uh, it's been replaced by a lot of different patterns for uh, getting results and changes. However, it's still a very useful pattern to consider. And what I'm going to explain in this short video is how to do it for yourself. So you, you'd use a swish pattern for a minor behavior you'd like to change. Maybe if you bite your nails too much, you eat too much of a certain type of food, um, or even a state that you experience that you'd like to have a different experience in. So um, as I say, it's a very easy pattern for self-application. The first thing you do, step number one, is to think of the behavior uh, uh, or the state that you would like to change. And as you think of it, it's quite important that you think of it as if you're currently doing it. In NLP, that is called associate to the experience. So for example, if it's nail biting, knuckle cracking, to really get to that time when you do this experience, and as you do it, visually back the experience up until to the trigger point. And what the trigger point is, it's the cue uh, to start the behavior. So it's the very, very first thing. Now in the original Swish, um, written up in one of the NLP books, the trigger point was often an external thing. So what is it you're looking at external to you? More often than not, what you'll find with these types of behaviors is actually the trigger is inside. Not always, but it can be something you feel. So if it is, for example, something you feel, be very clear what it is you are feeling at that moment and what does that correspond with outside and then freeze frame. So you're associated to the image, you feel what you're feeling and you're fully aware of any sounds that are present and then you freeze frame. Push that to one side. Next step, shake it off and think about what is it you'd like to do instead. And it's very important in a swish when you think about what it is you'd like to do instead that you stay within the same frame. Meaning, at the trigger point, nothing that different happens. You're just doing something different within the frame. What does this mean? If it's knuckle cracking, perhaps at this trigger that you feel or something which is outside of you, or maybe even something you hear, rather than crack your knuckles, you may just flex your knuckles. If it's nail biting, rather than nail biting, when you have this trigger, you will flex your fingers or do something with your hands. So it's not like we're doing anything that different. We're staying within the same frame. The pattern runs, the neuro-linguistic program is very similar, but it just doesn't include what was the thing that you'd like to change. So hypothetically, what we're gonna do here on the um, knuckle cracking is say this client wants to flex his or her hands. And what they do is they make a picture of themselves flexing their hands. And as they do so, they would see themselves in this picture. Meaning in NLP lingo, this is a dissociated image. And as they see themselves in this picture, they can look at themselves having a lot of other things as well if they like, but it's very important that the pattern that they see in there or the process that they see in there is this, at the trigger point. Freeze frame that, and then what they do is shrink it very small, and in the swish that I do, it's called the slingshot swish, or actually it's ocean swish, you want to call it that, they're going to put it far out there on the horizon. So the picture is way out there on the horizon. Break state. Get back the first picture, associate to it, feel it. And then as you feel the trigger, you swish this picture out and everyone comes swishing in. Like this. Break state. Feel the trigger, see what you're seeing. One swishes out, the other swishes in. And you do this three or four times. Test. Associate to that trigger, experience that trigger, whether it's an external cue or something you feel inside. And then you notice what happens. 
In most cases, after four swishes, the people realize they're having a different response. If there's anything left of the old behavior, swish it a few more times until you're content the swish has been done. Then run it through in your mind without the swish. This is called a future pace. And what you'll realize is you've created a new behavior in yourself or created a new neuro-linguistic program. So that's a swish pattern. There are variations on it, but this is the one I like to do. As I say, if there is an internal trigger, I will use that internal trigger as a swish. I find it works very effectively. Some people swish from the corner uh, up, and um, you know, that's quite an effective one. As I say, I like to do this one because it uses more submodalities. What I would say now is enjoy the change.